Okay, I'm back on KUHS 102.5 FM, Hot Springs, yes. Uh, I had to figure out what I was going to do for the rest of the show. I think I found it. So I found this hashtag, ask me about film series questions. It's like a list of 40 questions. I think I'm just going to try to go through them and see if I can answer off the top of my head pretty quickly. Or, well, not too quickly. Like, I could try to explain my answers, but let's just see, okay? Okay. Uh, question number one, favorite movie. My favorite movie is already, I'm already gonna turn people off at number one. My favorite movie is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Yes, I know it's recent. But also, if you wanted to really delve into it, I would just say my favorite movie is the Guardian, all three of the Guardians of the Galaxy movies, and I would not elaborate further more than that. I would just say it's all three of those in my number one spot. And I, if you, and... I don't know if I could say they function as one movie like a Lord of the Rings does, but in my head, those are all just one. They're like my babies. I can't choose a favorite out of those three. Uh, if you wonder what my second favorite film is... Oh, dang it. My second favorite film is Inside by Bo Burnham. That was also recent. But if you want to know my third, before that, it was 127 hours. But I, I might swap that out with something else. So, and that's an older movie now, so... I follow you. Okay, so that was number one. Number two, uh, favorite series. My favorite TV show is Doom Patrol or The Leftovers. I, I kind of want to put those in the same spot too, but I won't do it. I will say Doom Patrol is my favorite series. Uh, that's my favorite TV show that functions like an actual TV show. Uh, the Leftovers is my favorite series as like prestige HBO television. Uh, but yeah. Uh, number three. Film slash series that make you happy. Blind Spotting makes me happy. What's another show that makes me happy? Oh, no, 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 no. All right, take Blind Spotting off. Take Blind Spotting off. The uh, film slash series that make you happy. Film that makes me happy is uh, The Way, Way Back. That movie is probably impossible to watch and frown the whole time. Like... You're, you're going to be charmed by the way, way back. And if you're sad, like that, like literally, if you're going under a crippling depression, <clears throat> the way, way back is a perfect movie to watch. Because, like, there's a character in the way, way back that has, like, a low opinion of himself, who doesn't love, like, well, like, there's a character in the way, way back who is sad, who has people that try to make him happy, or try to brighten up his day, or his summer. So... I think it just it, it's perfect. I think the perfect thing that, to help make you happy for some things is something that both acknowledges your sadness or, you know, or whatever strife, but also puts in its place happiness and, and warmth. There's that. In my, uh, for my series, it's the One Piece show or Cobra Kai. The live action One Piece show or Cobra Kai. Because both of them have fun fighting and both of them have hype moments it, One Piece has a lot of, like, like uh, Monkey D. Luffy is very optimistic. That helps. Uh, but also, he's the only one who is so optimistic, whereas everybody else around him... Like, like I said, you know, the same balance of... You, you, it can't just all be happy fun times. There has to be an acknowledgement of sadness. Cobra Kai, same deal. Uh, Cobra Kai, what I love most about it is, like, at times it is Power Rangers. But at other times it's, like... It acknowledges the realities, like Johnny, uh, like, bes besides when Johnny in that show is, like, being a sensei, he is a complete F-up. He, he's a 40-year-old drunkard who literally does not know how to use technology at all. Like, on a caveman level, he doesn't even know what a sinking computer can do. Or a, Sometimes I'm like, do you even know how to use a basic, like, rotary phone? I don't know if he does, but but, but Cobra Kai does acknowledge like reality on occasion, and is kind of like, hey, this is crazy, isn't it? And I love it. Both both have hype moments that also just make you feel good, and I like that. All right, number four, film slash series that make you sad. Oh. What makes me sad? What was the movie that really makes me sad? <sighs> sad on purpose? Like, I'm trying to think of something that's, like, not cathartically sad. It's someone that just bums me out. Mm, 
don't know. For show, I would say The Leftovers, but that's more cathartic, sad. The Leftovers and, and Doom Patrol, I would also say for those. Uh, they make me sad, uh, but also cathartically sad. Uh, as for a movie that makes me sad, cathartically sad, everything, everywhere, all at once. Yes. I think I'm happy with that. But that movie also makes me happy. But yeah. Uh, my favorite genre. Oh, wait, no, wait, wait. Movie slash series you'll always rewatch. I'll always rewatch Breaking Bad and The Leftovers. Uh, and Doom Patrol, for that matter. Uh, and movies, uh, obviously The Guardians movie. Any movie in my top ten list is going to be a rewatch. Uh, that's The Guardians movies. That's Inside. That's 127 Hours. Steve Jobs. Uh, Into the Spider-Verse. Uh, that's only five top ten. And not in particular order, but... There's a bunch of them I would rewatch, but it's usually, like, that's pretty much how my top ten is determined, if you really want to know about that, is my top ten is determined by the movies that I personally am beyond head over heels over, and I, and they are movies that I could literally watch any second of almost any day, and I will, that'll be, like, the best day, pretty much. So there's that. Uh, alright, that was number five. Number six, favorite genre. Uh, favorite genre of film? For me, if I had to choose just one genre, it'd be t I, it'd probably be either horror or action. If I had to choose a specific genre, horror or action. Or drama. I do like a drama. But here's the thing. I like a mixture. I like mixtures of... I like uh, films that really play with genre and tone and really mixes and matches. If I had to choose one, I would say horror, because I think horror is a little more uh, uh, loose. And you do a lot of different stuff with horror. Uh, seven, a special movie for you. A special movie for me. What's a movie that I think is just special and for me? Again, the way, way back. Everything, everywhere, all at once. Uh, Swiss Army Man. Gar the Guardians movies. I feel like... They don't understand how many of these could go under one question. Okay. Number eight, underrated film. What's an underrated film? Blind Spotting, the movie is underrated. Uh, dang it, there was another one that I was literally thinking of the other day. I think Kiss Kiss Bang Bang is underrated still. The Nice Guys is underrated. Uh, I think... <laughs> I think uh, Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness is underrated, but it made enough money, so that's fine. Uh, underrated series. Blind Spotting, the show. Underrated TV series. Leftovers, the show. HBO. Uh, underrated TV series. End of the Effing World is underrated. Uh, yeah, that's a bunch. Of, that, that's those. Let's see, what's next? Uh, let's see, underrated series. All right, number 10, favorite movie from the 90s. This is a hard one. What's one of my favorite movie in the 90s? Uh, I don't know. Favorite from the... Army of Darkness is up there. And Scream. And Pulp Fiction. I think those three. Forrest Gump. Uh, I'm trying to think of more 90s movies. Is Darkman in the 90s? Because Darkman's up there, too. Okay. 11. Favorite Indonesian film? I don't know if I know any. And now I, I don't want to take the time to look it up. Uh, is Ong Bak Indonesian? I have not seen Ong Bak. But I would at least like it if I knew of an Indonesian movie. Let me see. Let me look it up. Ong Bak... Uh, but what film is it? Like, what, 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 what kind of film is it? Produced by, distributed by. Eh. Oh, it's Thai. Dang it, Ong Box Thai! Not Indonesian. Or wait, where is Thailand? Thailand. Maybe that, maybe that's right. I don't know. Yeah, that's the best I got. I I, I haven't seen Ong Bak, but I know the main guy in Ong Bak is pretty cool. That's all I got. I, I'm sorry if that's not Indonesian. I, I, I apologize. Favorite foreign film? Probably uh, El Mariachi. 
Yeah, I think it's that. It used to be Love Exposure, but only because that's the only porn film I had seen at the time. I've seen many more now, or at least a few more, but I still would say El Mariachi because I like Robert Rodriguez, and I also love that it was a very cheap movie, but still a cool idea, and it was very fun. I like it. I love that movie, uh, El Mariachi. A uh, movie that makes you sleepy. Recently, The Killer, with uh, the David Fincher's The Killer on Netflix. And it's not a boring movie. It's a really nice movie. But it's such a sleepy vibe movie. And I think people get that. That's a, that's a thing that people have said. Uh, let's see. Movies that make you... Uh, wait, uh, I already said that one. I'm on number 14 now. Funniest movie that, uh, slash series. Uh, I'm gonna put, I, I know a perfect answer for both of these. Uh, uh, umbrella. Wet Hot American Summer, the movie, and Wet Hot American Summer, uh, First Day of Camp, the show, and Wet Hot American Summer, 10 years later. That's my movie and series. There's a movie and there's a show. And if I could add one more to that is They Came Together, made by the same people that made Wet Hot American Summer, and it is hilarious. Those are all hilarious, and that's my that's my level of humor. Uh, also, Auntie Donna, uh, Big Old House of Fun on Netflix is also very fun and definitely my humor. Uh, let's see. Oh, and I think you should leave. It's my humor. Uh, funniest. Okay, favorite animation film slash series. Uh, animated film is Spider-Verse. Both of them. Both Spider-Verses. Probably the first one a smidge more just because it's such a tight story and the second one is only a part one. Uh, also Puss in Boots, uh, the newest Puss in Boots movie was really good. Yeah, I think I would put that there. And those are the only times I've, I personally have been super impressed with animation. I've seen only a couple Studio Ghibli films. Uh, and I've also seen Paprika. And those were good. I like, I don't hate anime. And I am sometimes impressed with anime animation. But, uh, Spider-Verse really cracked open my brain as to, like, the possibilities of what animation can be. And uh, I think it did that for a lot of people. Okay, next, number 16, favorite actor. Uh, I'm going to just throw out Justin Thoreau because he's in The Leftovers. And he's what's great about Justin Thoreau is not only is he a great actor, but he's also, like, he's a writer. He, like, he's, he's mainly a writer who just so happens to be supremely ripped. He wrote Iron Man 2 and Tropic Thunder, people, and Zoolander. But he's super ripped. He was dating Jennifer Aniston for a long time. I don't know if they're still together or what. And now, uh, and then he was in The Leftovers. He turns in this epic, I think, Emmy-worthy performance. And now he j he still does some goofs. He j he's, still, he's a goofy fella. I, I, that's why I like Justin Thoreau, because he's a goofy fella, but also his performance in The Leftovers is spectacular. Favorite actress? I would say either Regina King or Viola Davis. I don't want to say or Heather Graham, but also or Heather Graham. But uh, Heather Graham's a little, like, she hasn't done a lot recently. I would still probably say Regina King or Viola Davis. Viola Davis, I also haven't watched anything she's done lately. But there was a time when I was like, man, every movie I'm seeing Viola Davis in, she's just killing it. Uh, but I am, I've also been on a big Regina King kick lately. So I want to say Regina King now. Okay, that's favorite actress. Uh, favorite director. I skipped favorite director to get to favorite actress, but favorite director is Sam Raimi. Number 17, favorite director is Sam Raimi. Uh, that's all you gotta know. Uh, 19, movie series you always recommend. Leftovers or Blind Spotting. Uh, and Blind Spotting for movie and TV. Uh, 20, the movie slash series you're waiting for. What is the show I am waiting for right now? Uh, I still gotta watch Invincible C. Oh, I'm waiting for Daredevil. Heck yes. Daredevil, uh, Born Again. When that show comes out, I don't think... I, that's probably the most excited I've been for a Marvel thing in a long time. Like, I, yeah, obviously I was excited for Spider-Verse and Guardians, but I wasn't like... Like, I just knew they were gonna be good. So I didn't like... I wasn't like super excited. This Daredevil show, I'm not totally sure will be good, but if it is, it could potentially be the next best Marvel thing ever. Because Daredevil before was technically the best thing at that time. Uh, so yeah, I'm really excited for Daredevil uh, Born Again. 
Uh, 21, overrated movie. I'll give you a few. Overrated movies, uh, Joker is overrated. What else is overrated? Hmm. Yeah, Joker. I haven't seen anything else I think would be overrated. Yeah, I don't know. Joker. That's it. I, I thought I was going to give you a list. I only have one in my head. Uh, favorite dial Wait. Favorite movie? Oh, overrated movie. Overrated series. Oh, overrated TV series. Probably The Walking Dead, but I think people fell off that already. What's another overrated show? Yeah, I don't know. I think The Walking Dead. And I don't want to say any anime is overrated, because I think that's just up to personal taste. And my personal taste is. I'm not the biggest anime fan. But also, I, my brother is living proof. Like, I can get into anime. He's seen me get into an like he's seen me get into my hero, uh, Academia, but and so that's proof that I do I have watched and gotten into some anime. And I used to like Dragon Ball Z back in the day. Uh, favorite dialogue movie with the movie with my favorite dialogue in it. I think the Before trilogy has great dialogue because it's so natural sounding. Uh, movie you used to like. Ooh, that's a good question. A movie I used to like, but now I don't. I hate to say it, but there's a movie by one of my favorite actors ever, Bruce Campbell, that he wrote and directed called My Name is Bruce. And I still kind of like some of it, but it is like, that movie's pretty racist. And, like, now you can't find it anywhere, and it's kind of racist. I, I, I don't appreciate that now. But back in the day, I didn't care, and I thought it was hilarious. Now, with adult glasses, because it was 2007, I think, was when that came out. My name is Bruce. So, either 2007 or 2009. And it was a different time back then. But now, with adult glasses, uh, it's not that good. It's not that good. I used to love it, though. Uh, and I still like, like I said, I like some of it. I like the Bruce Campbellness of it. But other than that, it's kind of racist, and I'm not crazy about it. Uh, so that was favorite, or right, movie I used to like. 25, favorite trilogy, either the Before Trilogy, the Guardians of the Galaxy Trilogy, or, uh, what's another trilogy? Those two. Okay. Favorite soundtrack from a film or series? Hmm. Favorite soundtrack. Hmm. Favorite soundtrack. Ah, that's a hard one. Uh, favorite score. I kind of like every uh, score done by uh, Finch. Or wait, Atticus. No, Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross. Is that his name? Trent. Uh, you know, Nine Inch Nails guys. Anytime they do a score, I'm pretty like, okay, I like this. Uh, and so, like, for that's the Watchmen. They did the Watchmen soundtrack for, or the Watchmen score for the show. And they also did the social network for the movie. I love those. Uh, but for music, music, I think the second Spider-Verse movie, I really love the soundtrack of that. My brother didn't like that. He didn't like, he was like, I don't think there's the main memorable songs in the second Spider-Verse movie. I'm like, well, yeah, there are. Okay, let me see. Got more questions. Hold on. Hold it. Let's see here. Okay, next question is, if my thing will open up. Okay, next question. Favorite Marvel movie, <sighs> okay, this isn't, favorite Marvel movie that slash series. I'm going to disqualify Guardians just so I could say something different for once. My favorite Marvel movie, <sighs> other than Guardians, will be, I don't want to say Endgame, because that's so basic. But Endgame does do a lot of uh, comic booky things that... Or Infinity War, also. That's also pretty good. And Civil War. I Yeah, I think... I'm going to say Guardians. but <laughs> Just know Guardians is my favorite. But if I had to choose one that's not Guardians, I think I would choose... Oh, yeah. Multi Multiverse of Madness. Easy. Easy. Because it's directed by Sam Raimi, it's that good. And for series, favorite Marvel series, for me is either is it's probably Loki or Miss Marvel. Those are my favorite shows. 
of Marvel. Favorite DC movie slash series. Favorite DC movie is Shazam 1. Shazam 2 is pretty good, but Shazam 1 is probably my favorite DC movie. And favorite DC series, Peacemaker. It's not that many. Oh, 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 oh no, 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 no. Watchmen. The, the Watchmen show is also DC. I forget about that. Okay, 29. Favorite Disney movie. Now, that's interesting. Favorite Disney movie. Like, cartoon Disney or just Disney in general? So, I had to say Disney in general? I don't know. Wreck-It Ralph? Or Big Hero 6? Those two are good. Uh, I've seen first half of Frozen. I'll say, I'll say Big Hero 6. Uh, favorite Ghibli movie, Spirited Away, because that's probably the only one I've seen. Uh, favorite anime film slash series. Favorite anime film, I'll go ahead and say, is Paprika, because I really did like that. I like that a lot. And my favorite series, anime series, is My Hero Academia, right now, because I actually watch it. Favorite Korean drama. I have not seen Parasite yet, but if I did, would that be Korean? I think that one is Korean. Uh, favorite anime... Oh, wait, no, I already read that one. Uh, I'm also... I only got, like, five or six more. Or eight more. The the last movie you watched. What was the last movie I watched? The Cube. This last movie I watched was The Cube with my friend Casey. And uh, John Wick before that. But I've been mainly just watching Twin Peaks. Uh, favorite movie plot twist. Favorite movie plot twist. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Favorite childhood movie. Favorite childhood movie was Secondhand Lions. And that was my favorite movie for a very, very long time. It was my favorite movie until 2010 when I saw 127 Hours. Uh, but yeah. Favorite childhood movie. Did that. Last movie you watched it. That. First movie you've watched. Ooh, I don't know what the first movie I watched. The first movie I remember watching that wasn't in a theater, uh, I think it was Space Jam. Yeah, I think that's true. The first movie I can remember ever seeing was Space Jam. Or Men in Black is one of those. That, like, at home. First movie I saw in the theater, my mom would probably say it was Harry Potter. The first one I remember seeing in the theater was Spider-Man. The first Spider-Man, 2002. Uh, but yeah. Favorite movie plot twist? Still don't know. What's a plot twist that really... I like the Fight Club plot twist. Basic, but pretty good. Because you then it makes you watch it... You can watch it in two different ways. I love... I, and that's the best twist when you watch it two ways. The movie you wish happened IRL. I don't think any movie... The thing is, every movie has conflict. And if that movie happened for real, then you're going to have to go through whatever conflict there was. And then you got to see if they made it back... Better by the end end. So what's a movie that I wish actually happened? I guess one that couldn't happen to me, or if it did happen to me, I'd be okay. So I would say... Uh, before... <laughs> before midnight? Sure. Uh, okay. 38. Cinema or streaming? Here's the thing. Streaming is very convenient. It's very easy to watch things at home and not have to move. Uh, cinema, but that another thing is I am very, like, when I am at home by myself, I can have very poor attention spans. So uh, what I try to do, like, what I, what I love about going to the theater is I have no choice but to sit there and look at the screen or else waste my $12 I just spent to go see that movie. Uh, so, I, I like being trapped in a cinema. Uh, so I think, I'm gonna say cinema. I'm gonna give it the edge. Favorite documentary? I've not seen that many. But I think I will say my favorite mockumentary is American Vandal on Netflix. Watch it. And, I, and that's my answer for documentary, is that mockumentary, American Vandal. And my favorite scene? Uh, my favorite scene... In a movie, I could, I, well, I don't know why. I think this is my favorite scene. It's just the one that I just, I love watching because there's so much going on. And I'm going to look it up really fast. It's from Superman. 
uh, the Richard Donner cut when Lois finds out. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh that's all right. I just didn't hear you knock that. Lois? Mm -hmm. for, for goodness sake, the door wasn't even locked. I mean, just, just anybody can walk in here. There you go, putting yourself down again, Clark. Oh, very funny. No, really, I'm serious. Oh. Well, anyway, mm. <laughs> here. A little, uh, little something for the newlyweds' dinner tonight. Pansies. Mm -hmm. Clark, how, how different. Oh, well, would you believe they grow wild all around here? Mm-hmm. Boy, you should see what they're charging for roses at that gift shop. I'll bet, huh? Hmm. Um, you know something, Lois? What? Well, you know, in spite of the, 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 the unreality of, of all this, well, you know, posing as newlyweds for the sake of a newspaper story, well, in spite of myself even, I'm kind of starting to feel like one in a way. A newlywed? You? Um, I don't see why that should be so strange. Oh, I'm sorry, Clark, really, I didn't mean that. I mean, I'm sure there's thousands of girls who... Well, a few girls, anyway. Oh, go ahead and say it. Say what? That somehow... You're not satisfied being here with me. Hmm? That in some way I don't seem to uh, shape up very well in your eyes. Well, darn it, I don't have anything to apologize for. I'm a good reporter. No, I'm, I'm a very good reporter. And an even better friend to you. Stand up. Stand up? Yeah, stand up, just for fun. Now, come here, look at what? yourself. Just look at yourself. Oh. What we have here is a potentially aggressive dynamite guy who can do anything he wants. <laughs> I mean, it's not my fault you keep putting yourself down. Oh, yeah? How? Well, for starters, look, you slouch all the time. Yeah. Here, stand up straight. There, oh. that's better. And get yourself a jacket with a van and some shoes that don't lace up and a shirt with a little Lois. color or pattern or something and a bow tie that doesn't look like a letter opener. All right, Lois. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, now, we, we've been all through this before, haven't we? Yes. Hmm? I mean, I, mean I, I, I know where this is all leading to. Um, and I'm sorry. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. But no matter how hard I try, I just, mm -hmm. just, just never will be him. Him who? Him who? Him Superman. Oh. Now, I can't help the fact that you seem to think that you love him. That's just something I'm going to have to live with. But darn it, Lois, now that's enough now. Maybe I just can't stand the competition anymore. And just maybe you've been the competition all along, huh? Lois, I've never been particularly good at riddles. Let me make this one really easy for you. Why, with thousands of children potentially falling off something lethal all around the world, would Superman be in Niagara Falls today? Why wouldn't he be in the Grand Canyon? Why don't you ask the child's family? I'm sure they would know. And why is it always when I'm with you until Superman appears? And then you seem to disappear, well, very I, conveniently, I, it seems to I, me. I hot dogs, for Pete's sake, you're the uh -huh. And when Superman appeared, I looked over at that hot dog stand, and you were gone. You weren't there. I was... Nowhere. I can't help it if I had to go to the... You are Superman, aren't you? <laughs> Lois, look, we've been through these hallucinations of yours before. Can't you see what you almost did? <laughs> Throwing yourself off a building 30 stories high? Can't you see what a tragic mistake you almost made? I made a mistake. I made a mistake because I risked my life instead of yours. Lois, don't, don't be insane. And don't fall down because you're just going to have to get up again. No, Lois, now don't, don't be crazy now. What? If you'd been wrong, Clark Kent would have been killed. With a blank? Gotcha. They just have really good chemistry between Christopher Reeve and uh, Margot Kidder. And I really love the dynamic between Lois and Clark in those movies. Because Lois kind of walks all over Clark. But she is just fawns over Superman. And then in this one scene, you get to see the dynamic switch when Clark, 
he's still trying to put on the Clark facade. He's like, Lois, I, I don't know what you're talking about. And Lois is like, all right, Clark, you're going to have to see. And then she shoots Clark. But then when he turns to Superman, she is falling all over him again. This movie. All right, goodbye, everybody. KUHS 102.5 FM. Uh, so fo like, follow, subscribe at the Effin' Nerd Show on YouTube. That'd be nice. That'd be really effin' nice. All right, see ya. Goodbye.